Okay, and welcome back to our next video, which is on subtraction. Um, so, like I said, today's video is going to be on subtraction. And subtraction is the act of pulling um, one thing away from another common thing. Okay, so you wouldn't say I have six oranges and I'm going to subtract three seeds from that because that wouldn't make sense. They're not quite the same exact thing, even though an orange can have a seed. It wouldn't tell you, ooh, how many of either of them do you have? Okay, um, so you would say I have six oranges and I ate one of them. How many oranges do I have? left. Okay. So subtraction, um, I'll go through uh, kind of a basic subtraction question. First, we're going to look at um, 700. Seven hundred sixty-eight minus two hundred and four, uh, 214, not 214, 214. Okay. So, 8 minus 4 is 4, 6 minus 1 is 5, and 7 minus 2 is 5. Okay, so 768 minus 214 is 554. One of the big problems that people have with subtraction is when you're doing regrouping. And what regrouping means is that you have to change some of the values of one thing um, to make it subtractable by another thing, okay? So let's say I had 6,123 crayons, and I was subtracting 2,450 six crayons that I was going to give to Tootsie for some reason, okay? So what I have to do is I have to regroup some of the values in order to be able to subtract them. Now, just looking at the beginning part of this, using a little bit of reasoning here, okay? If I have 6,000 of something, can I give away 2,000 of that? Yes. So I can do the rest of this problem, okay? So starting off, though, I have three can I take away six? I can't do that. I have to borrow. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to borrow a group of 10 from my 20. I'm going to turn my 20 into 10, and I'm going to turn my 3 into 13. And what this looks like, what this looks like is I originally start off with 23, but I change it into... 10 plus 13, okay? And again, with addition, you can do those kind of things. I can regroup and reorganize my numbers so that they work, okay? So that's what I'm doing here. I took my 20, I took my 23, really, and I turned it into 10 plus 13, okay? 13 minus 6 is 7. And the way that I just thought of it there, as I said, ooh, hmm, 13 minus 6. And it gets a little tricky. I'm, what I'm going to do here is um, I'm going to think, ooh, what's the closest number that's really easy for me to do? And what that is is 12 minus 6, and then I'm going to add one more because 12 plus 1 is 13, or 6 plus 6 plus 1 is 13, okay? So next up. Oh, no, I ran into the same problem here. I'm trying to do 10 minus 50. Can I do that? I can't. So I have to, again, borrow from here. And so I'm taking 110, and I'm turning it into 0 plus 110 so that I can now take away 50. Okay? So... Um, 110 minus 50, oh, it's one of those things again. Well, 100 minus 50 is 50, so then I've got to add another group of 10 to that. That's going to be 60, okay? 
and this one right here had turned to a zero when I borrowed from it. Well, I have zero hundreds. Can I take away 400 from it? Oh no, I can't do that again. So I'm going to take my 6,000. I'm going to take my 6,000 that I have right here and I'm going to borrow from it. Okay. So my 6,000 is going to turn into 5,000 and my 100 or my zero hundreds is going to turn into 10 hundreds. So 6,000 equals 5,000 plus 1,000. Aha. And now can I do 1,000 minus 400? I can. And that is six. And so last, I have 5,000 minus 2,000, and whew, this one's easy, so I can do this. 5,000 minus 2,000 is 3,000, okay? So 6,123 minus 2,456 equals 3,667. So that is regrouping, okay? That's why we cross things over or cross things out and move things over and add all those things is to really be able to help us make sense of these things. Okay. Next up is going to be subtraction across zeros. Subtraction across zeros. So I'm going to look at this here. And I'll do 6,000 again. And I'll do 1,247. Okay. And so what I have to do is a little reorganizing of my numbers here. One other point I wanna bring up really quickly here is that the first thing I should do before trying to do subtraction is just check to make sure that my numbers are subtractible. So I'm gonna compare 6,000 and 1,000 and can I do it? Yes, so I know that this is a subtraction problem I can do, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reorganize 6,000 into a number so that I can start subtracting from that, okay? So 6,000 is actually going to be reorganized into 5,909 uh, nine tens and 10 ones, okay? And what that would look like too is 5,000 plus 900 plus 90 plus 10. And if you were to add all of those together, you would get 6,000, okay? It just helps me from having to go back through and borrow and then borrow and then borrow and then move all the things down. This is just a nice, simple thing to do. So 10 minus seven equals, Three, nine minus four equals five, nine minus two equals seven, and five minus one equals four. So that's subtracting across zeros. You can cross everything off. You're going to turn, uh, you're gonna turn this one into a 10. You're gonna turn the next ones into nines and you're gonna turn this last one into, uh, you're gonna borrow from it, okay? Um, next up, we have inverse operations. Okay, good. So um, I've been doing a lot of 6,000, so I'll switch it up. I'll do 7,243 minus 4,000, 521, okay? So we'll still have some regrouping in there. We'll have all these kind of things. This is going to be inverse operations, by the way. Okay. So the way that this one works is I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna do my subtraction, but then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add this number to the, uh, to the difference. I'm gonna add this number back to the difference and see if I get that number as our sum. And if I do, 
then I will know that I did the subtraction correctly. Okay. Three minus one equals two. Four minus two equals two. Two minus five, oh, I have to borrow. So I'm gonna turn my seven into a six, and I'm gonna turn my two into a 12. 12 minus five equals seven, and six minus four equals two. So the difference between 7,243 and 4,521 is 2,722. Okay, and now what I'm gonna to do to check my answer is I'm gonna add 4,521 to 2,722, and I'm gonna see if I get 7,243. Let's see, three, two plus one equals three, two plus two equals four, seven plus two equals 12, one plus two plus four equals seven. Did I get it? I did. So I used inverse operations, the inverse being that this is subtraction and this is addition, to check and make sure that I did my subtraction correctly. All right, so, Next up is going to just be two different ways that you can go through and do subtraction. Um, we've done a lot of standard algorithm, but I'll, um, I'm gonna do models first and then one more time go through the standard algorithm. Okay. Um, so let's say I had 2,143 minus I'm going to change that just for just for the sake of, of showing how this works. Minus 1,427. Um, uh, and I'll be able to show some regrouping, how regrouping works here. Okay. So what I'll do is I'm going to make 2,743 into a model. Again, modeling thousands is that you draw a cube. So that's 2,000. Seven hundreds, they're gonna be squares. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 40 is gonna be represented by four ten sticks. One, two, three, four. And three is gonna be represented by dots. One, two, three, okay? So first up, three minus seven. So what I would do for this is that I would take the 10 stick from here and add it to my dots. So I took my one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, okay? And one thing to pay attention to is that I put my dots into groups of five, that way I can kind of subtract easily. I know what exactly I'm working with, okay? So minus seven, all right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So three minus seven equals six, okay? And now I'm going to do, and because I borrowed, I borrowed from that four, that four is now a three, right? Okay, so three minus two, Oh, one, sorry. I have one 10 stick left. Seven minus four. I'm gonna take away four of my hundreds. One, two, three, four. And I have one, two, three hundreds left. And last, I'm gonna take away, I have two thousands and I'm gonna take away one of them. One thousand. So I have, and just to double check my own work, 
This is another reason that models are good is that I can look back through my own work and make sure that I've done the right thing. I have 1,000, I have 300s, I have 110, and I have six ones, okay? So that is it for subtraction. Thank you so much, friends, and I can't wait to see you guys soon. Bye.